In this quick tip, I'm going to teach you about the contiguous setting for the Magic Wand tool. It's the difference between selecting all of the same colored pixels or selecting only a section of the same colored pixels. The Magic Wand tool is a one-click selection tool that makes its selections based on color. As I covered in a previous video, the tolerance setting of the Magic Wand tool can be changed to limit or expand the number of colors included in a one-click selection. Please see the video description for information on that video. But the tolerance setting isn't the only thing that affects the selection process when using the Magic Wand tool. The contiguous setting also plays a major role in what is included in the one-click selection. We can either check or uncheck that setting. Let's look at what contiguous means and how it works with the Magic Wand Tool. The term contiguous is defined in the dictionary as sharing a common border or something that is touching. And that's exactly how Adobe uses that term within Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. So how that comes into play with the Magic Wand Tool is that if contiguous is unchecked, then you are telling the tool to select all of the same colored pixels on that layer, whether they are touching or not. But if you check the contiguous setting, you are telling the tool to only select the same colored pixels that are touching or connected. So let's take a look at how this works in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. I'm here in Photoshop Elements, but this will work exactly the same for Photoshop users, except we're noted. So I've opened this super fun paper from the Boy Stuff Kit by Studio Flurgs. Let's say I wanted to select all of the medium yellow pixels on this paper. To do that, I'll get the magic wand tool. And then in the tool options, I'll click on the new selection icon. I'll set the tolerance to 32 and I'll uncheck sample all layers and contiguous, but I will check anti-aliasing. Photoshop users set the sample size to point sample. Now again, if you need help understanding this tolerance setting for the magic wand tool, please see the video description for the link. Then on the document, I'm going to click on any area that has the medium yellow shade of pixels and voila, it did a perfect job of selecting every medium yellow pixel on this layer. But what if I only wanted to select one line of the medium yellow pixels? That's where checking the contiguous setting comes in. So I'll press Control or Command D on a Mac to deselect. And then in the tool options, I'm going to leave everything the same, except I'm going to place a check mark next to contiguous. Remember, contiguous means touching or sharing a border. On the document, I'll click on any of the medium yellow pixels in this one line that I want to select, and hooray! It only selected this one line and none of the other pixels have been included. Here's another paper from the same kit. I want to use this as a background paper for a page that I'm making, but the page has a lot of white space so I want to add just a touch more of visual interest to this paper before I use it on my layout. I want to select just a small number of these gray hexagons and recolor them to match that creamy white color that is the border between the hexagon shapes. So in the tool options for the magic wand tool, I'm going to click on the add to selection icon and I'll leave all the other settings the same. Just make sure that contiguous is checked because if you don't, it will select all of the gray pixels and I only want to select a few. So then on the document, I'll click once inside one of the gray hexagons and it worked perfectly. So then I'll select another one and I'll select just a few more random hexagons. From there, I can recolor the selected shapes for my background. So here's my page with the background paper before, and here it is after. I love how recoloring just a small number of the hexagons added a touch more visual interest to my layout without overpowering the page. 
The magic wand tool really is magic. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. This has been Jennifer Jurs with Digital Scrapper. We help you get your stories told.